So, let's get on with why I know every one of you are here, which is to cook, right? Or at least see, see me cook and a taste of food? All right. Randall was nice enough to lay all the ingredients out for me. We're going to start with the pumpkin pie cupcake itself. And the whole concept here is to make cupcakes using a match. So have you, have you cooked like muffins for master batches or have you used that concept? Some people have, I see. I have a white cupcake recipe that um, incorporates cake flour. I typically use a swan's cake flour. And I, so I'm doing this from scratch because I can go in lots of different directions with my cupcakes, starting with just one ingredient, which is cake flour. Not a cake mix, doesn't have a bunch of additives in it, it's just flour. Okay? And to that, I add baking powder and baking soda. And I'll use a little bit of butter, and then I like to split my sugar. I'll use half sugar and half Splenda, or you could use stevia, or anything, a sugar substitute that's appropriate for baking. So you cut your white sugar intake. I'm not eliminating it because it tastes good, but we're minimizing it or moderating it. And then in addition to that, we use some vanilla extract. If you like almond extract, you could also add that. And a little bit of skim milk. And that's my master batch cupcake recipe. And I had a question from a young woman in the audience earlier about did they have to write this recipe down? And the answer is no. You can go to my website, chefanna.net, and these recipes are out there for the cupcakes already. Okay? And all of the recipes that I cook this weekend will be on there by Monday. So check it out, chefanna.net. So let's make our uh, master batch cupcake recipe, and then we'll talk about how we go to pumpkin pie from there. We're going to start with this is a recipe for a dozen cupcakes, and we have about a third cup of butter, and it's softened. And to that, I'm going to add my sweet, so my Splenda sugar. And just like any good baker would do, I'm going to cream those. And I like to use a hand mixer when I'm demonstrating. It's a little loud, and I may kind of throw things around. I apologize in advance. bought this for me when we were on a beach vacation and she wanted to make banana pudding and I handed her the whisk and she said no. <laughs> so we went to the store and she bought the mixer. To that I'm going to add my uh, vanilla extract and my eggs. And these are actually egg whites and I don't have the container out here but I purchase a carton of egg whites instead of separating the egg from the, the yolk from the white. It's pasteurized, you don't have to worry about salmonella, and you can keep it in the refrigerator for like 45 days. So there's small containers, there's big containers, um, but that's what I use in my kitchen. So I'm going to get the egg in here, the sugar, and the egg whites, it doesn't emulsify or create the same kind of solution as if you were using egg yolks. So if, for those of you who bake, it may look a little different. I don't know if I can... If you guys can see that or not. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to add my pumpkin. And for this recipe, I've got about a cup of pumpkin. That one got me on the face. <laughs> now to that, I said I had my cake flour. I'm going to add my baking soda and baking powder. And you can either uh, measure out cinnamon, cloves, and allspice, or you can use a pre-mixed pumpkin pie seasoning. And I make my own pumpkin pie seasoning mix at the kitchen, and I just add that so I don't have to do the individual ingredients in advance. And I'll take a whisk and whisk together the dry ingredients. Some people will sift them, but I know that this flour has already been sifted, so 
Just mix that together really well. Now I'm going to add this to the wet ingredients in small quantities because it will create a big dust cloud. It may anyway with this mixer. 